And we're back to Mass Effect 3. Dark and Ran. Dark and Ran's trying to save the galaxy despite its best attempts to, to stop us at it. Just let us help you, damn it! <laughs> Last time we actually, you know, stopped a collector abduction in progress. Yeah. So, you know, we did a little good. And then got chewed and then got chewed out by one of our squad old squad mates. Sounds so bad. Uh you win some, you lose some. It's almost like she didn't see us fighting all of those collectors. I I'm just not gonna think too hard about it. Anyway, we have several things we can be doing now, like Project Overlord, which is actually gonna be later. Jacob's hmm. loyalty mission. There's always stuff to do in Omega. Uh, so much stuff to do. Like so much stuff to do on LM. Um, but there's something much more important to do. Yeah, let's go find Tally. Recruit Tally. Yay! Formerly a quarrying colony, Haystrom was established to observe the phenomena. On Dolan, the system's parent star. Dolan appeared to be unstable with a high possibility of erupting prematurely into a red giant. Haystrom was lost to the Geth in 1896 CE. Soon after, all communications from the planet and its attendant space station ceased. The Geth have shown no signs of treating Dolan as a threat over the past three centuries other than establishing several space stations near it. Dolan's magnetic eruptions and solar output overwhelm most communications near it and it is unclear how to get them compensated. Today, hmm. spy probe scans indicate extensive orbital construction around Haystrom, housing thousands of Geth platforms and an unknown number of Geth software mines. It is not known how many Geth are on the planet's surface. Spy probes face interference from Dolan, making remote scanning difficult. Resource estimations based on Geth mining, refining, and fabricating pra practices suggest that the planet has at least 20 m more years of use before it is exhausted. Intelligence experts speculate that the Geth have not exploited all their resources because they wish to keep some in reserve for repairs. Makes sense. Warning! Haystrom is a Geth stronghold, as if all of this did not suggest it. Pretty much. Yeah. Um, hmm? It didn't finish reading the rest, but okay. I mean, the, the rest of it is just it saying, hey, don't come over here, there's Geth, and... Uh... Just random planetary data. Yeah, Nothing important. So yeah, Corian's lost this this rock before before we even had World War One. Yeah. Kind of puts in perspective how young humanity is. Mm -hmm. Now who shall we bring? Oh well, definitely no one from actual Cerberus. Well, actually, I'd say one of these three simply because. Uh, well, more than. More than. More than probably Garrus. Yeah, yeah. Because Someone she knows at least. Because we're obviously going to be dealing with Geth. Yeah, the, there's that too. It's like what? You thought we were done fighting Geth? <laughs> of course not. It's a Geth stronghold. <laughs> it's like to everyone who thought the Geth wouldn't be in this game. Haha, <laughs> funny. Then we shall fight in the shade. So it would seem. Yeah. Yeah, she wasn't kidding. It's, it's not too much damage, like not too quickly. Need to avoid sunlight. Keep to shaded areas. But still. At least you can just wait for a moment for it to recharge, right? Yeah. Well, we were 
Incoming dropship. Look out! Instead of looking quite any faster, bro. Yeah. It's nice. Remember when you need a full clip just to kill one? Don't remind me. Come on, get back here, bitch. Your shields are almost out, but... I am unconcerned. Where is he? Firing eye impact shot. Where the guy was Oh, I love the user. What does to worry about? What do they think it's for this thing useful? Yeah. Especially when I'm a limited chance that I have concern. Oh, yeah. hello. Especially when you were already almost out of shit. Like, behold how little I give a shit now. You almost died. Eh, I'm fine. Yeah. Pretty good. Yeah. Not fighting in the shades. I'm just gonna lead a Yankee instant. Oh, you're not dead? Corrected. Took you a moment to notice. this. This morning, I guess. The best is from here. Oh, well. Pop one, this is squad leader Cal Rieger. Come in, over. This is Commander Shepard of the Normandy. Can we provide assistance? Patch your radio into channel 617 Theta. We're on a stealth mission, high risk. We found what we were after. The Geth found us. They got us pinned down. We can't get to our ship. Can't transmit data through the solar radio. What's the status of your team? How many of you are left? We were a small squad, a dozen Marines plus the science team. We're down to half strength now. Made the synthetic bastards pay for it, though. What brought you this deep into Geth-controlled space? You were asking the wrong person, Shepard. I just point and shoot. Something about the sun is going bad enough. faster than it should. Some kind of energy problem. Any idea where the Geth came from? One of the patrol ships found us. Drop ships started raining Geth down on our heads before we could get off the world. Systems under Geth control. We know they made planetary sweep. Do we have to worry about the Geth sending in reinforcements? I don't think so. Yes. The control ship hasn't lifted off again. The radiation blocks all off world communication. How are you holding up? We can be there in a few minutes. Take it slow and careful. Direct sunlight fries your shields all the hell. We're bunkered down. We've noticed. <laughs> You're gonna throw your life away for research? Negative. I give my life for the migrant fleet, all the difference in the world. <laughs> Still, 
I guess I wouldn't be really surprised if they were a bit inspired by it. Hmm. Hey, remember, remember that a second ago? Yep. So it was literally just a third to show you that they're, that they're getting in this Yeah, and you know to give you free credit. And yeah, they stop this stuff. And they can ruin your day if you're not paying attention. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know that DLC Geth Plasma Shotgun? Yeah, where do you think it came from? Hmm. So, those are the guys they get that used to show them. Yeah. Hey, you managed to hit. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> it's got a bit shakier aim because of the laser sights. Uh, now is wait, that actually? Yeah, no notice how it doesn't have a targeting reticle when I pop up. And you're trying to figure out why laser sight gives it gives it that shaky aim. Because it's got that little pinpoint sight instead of, uh, instead of that. So basically, so basically the game's auto aim doesn't pick up pick up that well, from what I can tell. Does it actually function like that? And and I'm just making excuses for myself. Uh, who knows? All I know is when it hits, it hits like a truck. Yeah. It seems like it's what well, made for actually being precise yourself rather than, the, than using the auto in any way. Hey, I remember when we did that. Yeah. That's when we rescued. Liara. Um, yeah. You have a little part Prime! That's a prime in the end. So, did it go? Not tough enough. It was. It was pretty tough. Hi there. Take cover, you idiot. The problem is so far to cover. <laughs> Destroyer. Yeah, that's kind of why I prefer not to have manual crouching over and stuff. Yes, but as you saw in the in the first game, it doesn't always work too well. Just runs up to a um, chest high wall, stands behind it with her back to it. Yes, that's why I said I prefer games that have manual crouching. Yeah, but... It works. Unlike anything Todd Howard puts his fucking hands on. Yeah, it works, except when it does. It's more of if I'm misjudging where I am and slamming the EQ, like I'm standing... Uh... Uh, right here. I want to take cover where I want to. Yeah, I suppose. Okay, y'all can't hit the broads out of a barn. <laughs> it's not their fault that you have clip that you have no clipping on. <laughs> <laughs> Damn those packing organics. It's clear, man. He doesn't actually have no clipping on. Yeah, like, I'm pretty sure there's there, there's one I could access in the console, but I don't know it. Not difficult. Mm. If you just time you're seeing two sit and miss, I'll just actually go right through your head just because you're behind cover. <laughs>
All right. I don't he's saying kind of right. Should be enough. Have to move quickly. Large impact radius. I find it funny how um, this class has a bullet time when they sprint, so you get that weird distorted voice whenever I start running. Oh, that's why. Yeah, it took me a little while, I figured it out. I thought it was Garros talking in the Twinta or something, not... It's like, no, and that's bullet time. And that's a dead. Two words you don't expect to hear together. Colony is deep in Geth territory. Why would Corians come here now? I'll take it. Why can't I just take it entirely? Right. And you technically just have it for everyone. Our ancestors walked these halls with uncovered heads. The sun must have been normal back then. So much space, walls of stone. Well, and lucky you! We can certainly say we did one of those things. Yeah, we can grant one wish. And give him the other SMG, because it's better. Now you can equip the rifle you say you wanted. There's a rifle I wanted? Or, you know, the thing you picked up and you said you wish you could just grab the whole thing. Change oh, weapon. no, that's a, that's a, uh, I was talking about the Geth Pulse Rifle. You can't. Uh oh. Anyway. So you just pulled out something else for some reason? Yeah. Tally, it's Shepard. I'm sorry, everyone here is dead. Any survivors must have fallen back. We knew this mission was high risk. Damn it. And what are you doing here, Shepard? We're in the middle of Geth space. I was in the neighborhood. I thought you might need a hand. Thanks for coming, Shepard. It means a lot to hear your voice. Carl Rieger and what's left of the Marines got me into the observatory. From where you are, it's through the door and across the field. I got to the data I needed, and I'm safe for now, but I've got a lot of get outside. What's this research you're after? It's about this world's sun. It's aging faster than it should. I can tell you more about it once we've got fewer get shooting at us. Would it help if I brought in Normandy? Doubtful. These buildings are centuries old. If you bring down heavy fire, this whole place could collapse on us. Is anyone else still with you, or are you alone out there? Rieger had a team of Marines covering me when I ran for the observatory. At least some of them are still alive. I can hear them firing at the get outside. It something like tells me that they're gonna be for them. The console is damaged. Probably not. Get it open on your end. In fact, something tells me they're gonna stop shooting very shortly before we get there. <laughs> No promises. We'll try. We promise to do what we can. We've been spotted. Uh. Well, they know we're here now, and they also know I'm a bad shot. <laughs> to worry about. That's a Works. Usually does. Don't let the name Recon fool you. Cover yeah. these. Cover 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 all of them. Yeah, 
I mean, oh. I saw you recover all your shield and then immediately lose it. <laughs> yeah, it's just like, <laughs> die. And get do them to be pretty good against shields. I think. Oh look, one of those! Oh. I think it noticed us. Uh, what's that maple? Oh, definitely like old times. <laughs> definitely like old times. Yeah. Over here! Get to cover! Hey, hey, he's still alive. Hey. Yeah. He's got a rocket launcher. Squad leader Count Ooh, Rager, my group is Marine. We talked on the radio before that dropship arrived. I still got no idea why you're here. This ain't the time to be picky. That's the word for it. Allie's inside over there. Jeff killed the rest of my squad, and they're trying to get to her. Best I've been able to do is draw their attention. Well, she managed to do that. The observatory is reinforced. Even the Geth will need time to get through it. <laughs> and it's hard to hack a door when someone's firing rockets at you. Geth are near platoon strength, but the Colossus is the worst part. It's got a repair protocol. It huddles up and fixes itself. I can't get a clear shot while it's down like that. I tried to move in closer. One of the bastards punched a shot clean through my suit. How bad is your suit damage? Combat seals clamped down to isolate contamination, and I'm swimming in antibiotics. Geth might get me, but I'm not gonna die from an infection in the middle of a battle that's just insulting. <laughs> What can Fair you tell enough. me about the battlefield? Right side's got a catwalk with a sniper perch. You can wreak some havoc from there. None of my men made it past the Geth. Middle's got cover, but the damn Colossus has a clear shot at you the whole time, and you've got Geth coming in from both sides. The left gives you some cover from the Colossus, but your ass is hanging out for the Geth. That's how I got shot. I'm still trying to figure out where I got the submachine gun. Uh, I think it was in one of the body uh, near the first contact no. thingy. Like the regular kid or whatever. See, the problem, Doran, is number one, that's a different model. Number two, my class physically cannot equip submachine guns. Oh, oh, that machine gun. Yeah, the one in my hand. Yeah. Okay. Took me a moment to realize that wasn't just a heli pistol. <laughs> just one! I'm not moving so well, but I can still pull a trigger. I got a rocket launcher that the sun hasn't fried yet. You move in close. I'll keep the Colossus busy. Maybe even drop its shields. With luck, you'll be able to finish it off. Mm, no. You've done enough, Rieger. You don't need to throw your life away. Wasn't asking your permission. My job is to keep Tally safe. This is our best. We don't have enough people on our side for you to take one for the team. Stand down. I'm not gonna stand there while you run into enemy fire. They killed my whole squad. And if you want to honor your squad, watch my back. I need you here in case they bring reinforcements. <clears throat> All right, Shepard. We'll do it your way. Hit them for me. Keep us alive. Incoming. Okay, first wait for that. Enjoy. <laughs> yeah, rather important. Get up. Yeah. Oof. Hey, at least he didn't one shot me like in the last game. Let's get up and around. Oh, hello there. Yeah, I say really down. Good, uh, oh, it's a bad time. That's the word for it. Thank you, Barrier. 
Yeah, you are almost good. Well, man, eh, that's a little toasty. Yeah. Yeah, he's a bit tough. Now we need to take out the its support first. I'm going to go ahead and guess that if you let the captain hand his defense or something. Uh. Yeah, if you don't get, get him to stand down, then. Well, you can either tell him to run interference for you, which will guarantee he gets killed. Don't stop him from just supporting you, which if you don't cover him fast enough, it kills him. Or you can do things my way and suffer. <laughs> what? It's gonna have to be enough. Yep. This is suffering for someone else's thing, right? What's the value to be honest? Yeah, pretty much. Area clear. There's some iridium over there, but I don't give a shit. Thank you, Shepard. Hello, if Ellie. not for you, I would never have made it out of this room. This whole mission has been a disaster. I wish I'd joined you back on Freedom's Progress, but I couldn't let anyone take my place on something this risky. A lot of Quarians lost their lives here. Was it worth it? I don't know, Shepard. It wasn't my call. The Admiralty Board believes the information here was worth sacrificing all our lives for. <coughs> I have to believe that they know what's best. I didn't ask what some admiral thought. I asked what you thought. A lot of people died here. Some of them were my friends. All of them were good at their jobs. That damn data better be worth it. The price was too high. Heard. What can you tell me about your research here? Haystrom's sun is destabilizing. Back when this was a Quarian colony, it was a normal star. It shouldn't change that quickly. Any idea what's destabilizing the sun? If I had to guess, I'd say that it was dark energy affecting the interior of the star. The effect is similar to when stars blow off mass to enter a red giant phase. But Haystrom's sun is far too young for this to be natural. Whatever the reason, I'm glad I could help. Once you deliver that data, I could use you on the Normandy. I promised to see this mission through. I did. I can leave with you and send the data to the fleet. And if the Admirals have a problem with it, they can go to hell. I just watched the rest of my team die. Maybe not the whole rest of your team, ma'am. Rieger, you made it. Your old captain's as good as you said. Damn Colossus never stood a chance. If need be, the Normandy can get you out of here, Rieger. Well, the Geth didn't damage our ship. As long as we get out of here before reinforcements show up, we'll be fine. Actually, I won't be going with you. I'm joining Commander Shepard. I'll pass the data to the Admiralty board and let them know what happened. She's all yours now, Shepard. Keep her safe. Will do. <laughs> and so on, just tell it. <laughs> yeah. Recruited Talizor for the team. Though loyal to Shepard, Talizor's antagonism towards Cerberus necessitates observation. Also sending recon units to examine Geth activities in case of activities on Haystrom provoke action. Unfortunately, that entire plot thread about the star is going to get dropped. Oh. Yeah. Cerberus has come to you in action, Talizor. Yeah. I'm looking forward to having you on the team. Your engineering expertise will really benefit the mission. I don't know who you are, but Cerberus threatened the security of the migrant fleet. Don't make nice. That's why you're here, Tally. I need people who aren't Cerberus. People I can trust. I wasn't part of what happened to the migrant fleet. But I understand your distrust. 
I hope we'll get past that as we work together. I assume that you were undercover, Shepard. Maybe even planning to blow Cerberus up. If that's the case, I'll loan you a grenade. Otherwise, I'm here for you, not for them. If it helps, check out the Normandy while you're here. We've gotten a few upgrades. I'll get Tally Zora the necessary security clearance to access our systems. Please do. I can't be part of your team if I don't know how the ship works. Fair enough. Remember, Shepard, these people thought enslaving Thorian creepers and Rachni was a good idea. I'll be in engineering. Oh, don't worry. Don't forget we to remember. introduce yourself to Edie, the ship's new artificial intelligence. You are not scoring any brownie points with her, dude. You like, fucking idiot. <laughs> it's just like, hey, by the Do way, the by the way, the ship's got an AI now. Uh, like, Shepard. You know, that's like the literal pos worst possible thing you could, you could say, like, why she Shepard in the background, face palming. Yeah, pretty much. Shepard, how can I help? Have you got a minute to talk? Perhaps later. Trying to determine how scale itch got onto Normandy. Sexually transmitted disease only carried by Varen. Implications unpleasant. Anything else? Okay, then. I'll let you work. We'll be here if you need me. That's an uh, interesting line there. Implications oh. indeed unpleasant. Scale itch. Sexually transmitted, but only carried by Varen. You know, you know what they were? Basically, the big attack dog things. Implications uh, very unpleasant. Yeah. Hey, plus 25% assault rifle against armor, shields, and barriers. Nice. Could have used that last mission. Seriously. So the upgrades weren't useful. No. Commander, you've received a new oh, message at your private terminal. Oh, yeah, what you got to say about that? We'll get there in a second. <clears throat> From the Admiralty Board Migrant Fleet. Commander Shepard, per Talizora Vasnima's request, included with her data delivery from Haystrom, the Admiralty Board has approved her transfer to your command. She has been informed that additional duties to the Migrant Fleet may still be necessary on occasion, but has been given extended leeway to determine when her mission with you is considered complete. This choice was hers, but your role as de facto captain during her pilgrimage may have caused her to be more susceptible to your requests. The Admiralty Board trusts that you will treat your new crew member with the respect due an honored member of the fleet. Should any harm come to her due to negligence on your part, this board will take severe and appropriate action. Admiral Rail Zora, Migrant Fleet. Oh. <laughs> her father. <laughs> remember, remember last game when she mentioned her father was one of the admirals? I had kind of forgotten that part. <laughs> Hello, <laughs> son to be father in law. I mean, what? <laughs> Okay, Kelly. Jack's tattoos are beautiful. As colorful as her past, I'm sure. I have concerns with her temper, though. You have worries about Jack? I know she'll be solid under fire, but her attitude suggests depersonal issues. That's she pushes point. people away, yet approaches sex casually. I don't think she <laughs> understands her own motivations. I wouldn't I be surprised if she gets a on you. If you want her respect, think twice. I'll do my best not to piss her off. Please warn me if you fail. I want a chance to hide. Anyway, <laughs> how may I help you, Commander? Is there anything I should know? Jack would like to see you down in her hidey hole on the engineering deck. Anything else, Commander? That'll be all. I'll be here if you need anything. Nothing about that, eh? Let's see. How may nope. I help you, Commander? That'll be all. I'll be here if you need That's, anything. I'm pretty doctor. sure we can tr uh, uh, prompt something if we talk to her after a mission. Yeah. So basically just do a mission that doesn't involve rescuing someone. Yeah, like a loyalty mission or something like that. Or if I remember where some of the N7 missions are. Speaking of dialogue, I thought, I think you had something in the... Uh, in the what? Uh, you know, the two engine people... Yeah, yeah, I'll get, to them. I'll, get to, I'll get to them in a second. Yeah. I got thoughts, like little bugs crawling in and out of my head. I can't stop them. Oh. Okay. You know I have a history with Cerberus. You know how far back it goes? I'll listen to anything you have to say, Jack. 
Your pal, the elusive man? Never seen him before, but Cerberus raised me. First thing I remember is my cell door in a Cerberus base. They did experiments, drugged me, tortured me. Whatever chance I had to be normal, they stole it by trying to turn me into some superbiotic. The doctors, the other kids, every one of them hated me. They let me suffer. There were other children in the base? I didn't know much about them. I was kept separate. They hated me just like everyone else there. When I broke out, I had to fight through them all. I showed them, but there's a loose end I need to deal with. How did you get oh, out of there? There was some kind of emergency, and I made a break for it. The other kids came out of their cells and attacked me. So did the guards. I just killed everything in my way and ran. Guess my biotics had developed faster than they thought. I managed to get a shuttle off the ground. Drifted until a freighter picked me up. The crew used me, then sold me. That's my uplifting escape story. Oof. What did they hope to gain by yeah. torturing a little girl? It was something about pain breaking down mental barriers and how it might clear the way for a more biotic power. I'm sure there was a payoff due at some point, but I wasn't going to see it. I was wired up in a cell. They tortured you just to see if they could make a strong biotic? That's it? Wasn't in a position to ask, Shepard. All I know is a little girl crying in a cell, begging for the pain to stop. You're absolutely certain that Cerberus was running the facility. I was a kid, but I wasn't dumb. I know how to listen. It was Cerberus. Don't care how far down the chain it was. They thought they were so clever. Turns out, mess with someone's head enough and you can turn a scared kid into an all-powerful bitch. Fucking idiots. I'm gonna talk to the elusive man, and he'd better have some answers. He'll just deny everything. That's not what I'm after anyway. I found the coordinates in your files. I want to go to the Telton facility on Pragia, where they tortured and drugged me. I want to go to the center of the place, my cell. I want to deploy a big fucking bomb, and I want to watch from orbit when it goes. You've lived with this your whole life. Why do this now? Like I said, I found the coordinates in your files. You can't expect me to just sit on information like that. Attacking our allies is going to derail our mission. Not a smart move. The files say it was shut down after my escape. It's been abandoned for years. They going to care if I blow up a garbage dump? I'll set a course for Bragia. Hmm. I owe you, Shepard. Well, that mellowed her a little bit. Yeah. Now let's see what we can get out of these. Um... Uh okay there we go. <laughs> that was heard. weird. The collectors hit the Ferris Fields colony. Everyone's gone. Shit. We're going to make those dirty buggers pay. Not the dialogue I was after. Okay. Let's talk to Tally. They had a boss. Shepard, what can I do for you? How's the Normandy running? Oh, Normandy. Say what you will about Severus. They know how to build ships. The Normandy's running even better than before. I don't so know if it can stand up to a collector attack, though. <laughs> I'm researching some ideas that might help. Is the new That's Normandy giving you any trouble? Please, Shepard. I'm a Quarian. Give me a chunk of scrap metal, a circuit board, and some element zero, and I'll have it making precision jumps. <laughs> I was worried about working with Cerberus engineers, but they know what they're doing, and they've been very polite. Can you do anything That's to give the Normandy an edge over a collector ship? Definitely. With the right supplies, I can fortify our shields. The Collectors cut through the Normandy's barriers immediately last time. My upgrades might give us a better chance. And part is kind of important, yes. Multi-core shielding. Rapidly oscillating kinetic obstruction of cyclonic barrier technology added to the ship. Dish it up to ship survive blasts like those that destroyed the first Normandy. Yeah, that's probably useful. Very important. Shepard, what can I do for you? Have you got time to talk? We didn't really have time to chat while taking out Gath on Haystrom, did we? I can't believe so many people died. Thank you again for getting Rieger out alive. All for data about stars blowing up. I hope the Admiralty Board gets some use out of it. Have you heard any word about Cal Rieger? Did he survive his injuries? 
He sent me a message. It looks like he'll make a full recovery. Any time you get a suit puncture, it's a matter of luck. Rieger got out with a relatively minor infection. Any news yet on the data you sent? I'm not likely to hear anything for a while. Or on an unsecured channel, for that matter. Tell me about the fleet's admiralty board. It's one of two major political powers among my people. The admirals make decisions related to defense or needing immediate action. They also handle major criminal charges, like treason. The other political power is the Conclave, a group of representatives from each ship. They make most of our laws and fleet decisions. Having any trouble settling back in on the Normandy? I like the quiet. I miss the old faces, though. Presley, Engineer Adams, all of them. It doesn't seem right having Cerberus in charge of this ship. Are you sure working for them is the right thing to do? I caught some tension back on Freedom's Progress and again when you first came aboard. What happened between Cerberus and the Quarians? They attacked one of our ships, the Idena. It seems they were attempting to kill or control a young human biotic who was on the fleet. I don't really know the details. Young I human biotic. Cerberus huh? made an enemy of the Quarian people. Not related to Jack, it's one of the books that I didn't read. Oh, okay. I fully expect them to betray us at some point. And we'll be ready. I'm glad to hear that, Shepard. Just let me know how I can help. For now, I should get back to work. Thanks for coming by. Yeah, at least you listen to that. Right, Ashley? <coughs> Seriously. Come on, there's, there's getting emotional and there's that. Seriously. Shepard. Shepard. Just checking in, making sure you're acclimatizing. <laughs> I was just, <laughs> just sitting here thinking. The picture, huh? I'm finally starting to get it. There's a tank imprint, the Battle at Camrum. A dead Turian, stripped. You don't see them out of their armor much. A Krogan boot on his head, and a claw hammer. It's under the brow plate, pulling it back, right? Eyes have gone black, and you see tension in the muscle. You can feel it ready to snap. I get it. Canrum isn't ringing a bell. Death of Shiagar, female warlord. Turians killed her, so they were hunted down and made examples. Even if they won the war, it was the last push before the rebellions ended. Maybe I had to be there, but I don't get the joke. There's no joke. It's just great. It's a Turian, and he's being torn apart for what they did. I felt nothing before, but now I get it. It was a good fight. The enemy was destroyed to punish them all and send a message. I get it. I hate Turians. I thought you'd be glad. Don't start anything with Garrus. I won't have trouble on my ship. <laughs> I don't hate Garrus. I hate the Turians. Garrus is just one Turian, and he's your clan. No point in ripping his face off unless he turns on me. It's hate, but know. it's mine. Okir was blind, and he tried to make me the same. But I'm starting to feel what they did. To see why I should care. Anyway, I'm still figuring where I fit, but it made <coughs> me laugh. You're still running. You're still still running. on my mind, Shepard. I didn't expect Shepard to quite snap like that, but okay. Yeah. You can never oh, well. really be sure, even in this game. Mm -hmm. Speaking of which, that doesn't remind me. Where does our Renegade sit? Or Paragon sit? Eh, we're making good progress. Garrus, have anything to Thank you, Commander. Rupert put the new supplies to good use. <laughs> yes, yes, we know y'all love. L we all. Y'all how. Bleh! English is hard. Fuck it. Garrus? Shepard. Need me for something? Have you got a minute? Gonna wait for a bit. I'm in the middle of some calibrations. Still? Come Talk on, Garrus. Later, Garrus. <laughs> I'll be here if you need me. Wow! Um, listen. At least I can set in the Witcher if the, the choice options aren't so difficult because you mostly. You mostly. Like, 
the line tells you pretty much what you're saying, and you know it's pretty much what you what you'll be getting every time, which is sass. I mean, it's better than you know Fallout Four. Yes, <laughs> sarcastic. Yes, no, but actually, yes, inquisitive. Yes. Yeah, and <sighs> The Witcher is like all of the options. Like the options just tell you what you're answering. They don't exactly tell you how you're answering it, but you pretty much have the idea that it's gonna be sassy. <laughs> Yeah, let's head back up to the CIC. And whatever we do next, we will do that next time. Goodbye. Click.